a trooper Gary Burke from the uh, 13th Regiment of the United States Colored Troop and he's given us some information in reference to some of his experiences uh, during the uh, latter part of the uh, Civil War. And let's pick up where we left off, uh, Trooper Burke. Well, battle is horrific. Battle is deadly. Battle makes you a man. And that's what I learned from my experiences. As I said before, I carry this mini ball with me it was taken from my arm when I was shot at Peach Orchard Hill. Mm -hmm. And I keep it as a reminder of what I endured, a small part of what I endured, as other men around me fell like weeds around me. Mm -hmm. Our general said after that battle at Peach Orchard Hill, as he walked around the dead and wounded, that this settles it. Mm -hmm. The black man will fight. Mm -hmm. I also carried this railroad spike to remind me where I came from while we were down there on the Johnsonville Railroad, we were pounding these spikes, building a railroad, wondering mm -hmm. when it was gonna be our time to fight mm -hmm. for our people, mm -hmm. where our time came. Mm -hmm. So I have these two reminders mm -hmm. to remind me of what our people went mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And when I stood at their graves, I wrote this poem mm -hmm. that I'd like to share. Mm -hmm. And it's called Men of Blue. Mm -hmm. Your journey is somewhat a vague and untold story. Mm -hmm. How you gained the Civil War's honor and glory. Mm -hmm. From field hands to picking cotton, a tale of events that was almost forgotten, mm -hmm. men of blue. Your faith and conviction sustained you through the wilds of slavery to die on the battlefield displaying ultimate bravery, mm -hmm. men of blue. You fought as contraband, slaves and some men free to pay the price of freedom for your family and me. You may have been on the hearts and minds for ceaseless ages, but you will be on our minds for ceaseless ages, men of blue. Mm -hmm. In fighting combat, sometimes hand to hand, many of you grew quickly from a boy to a man. Mm -hmm. You often saw your enemies, even eye to eye. The lives that were lost makes my soul cry. Mm -hmm. As we honor those men before us, we unify as an awesome chorus, mm -hmm. singing their songs of old, praying to the Father as our heavenly goal, mm -hmm. men of blue. The battlefields are silent now and the smoke is cleared. Mm -hmm. Their heroism and honor will always be revered. Mm -hmm. They now lie in a formation to be viewed by a nation, mm -hmm. a brigade of brothers through many generations, mm -hmm. men of blue. We honor you in the footsteps that you trod through the agony, bloodshed, and sod, mm -hmm. for out of bondage became a battalion of men, mm -hmm. for while we pay homage to them over and over again, men of blue. Mm -hmm. The cannons are silent, rifles without a round. We stand before them on this hollow ground mm -hmm. to stand at attention at the foot of their graves, reflecting on the lives they willingly gave, mm -hmm. men, men of blue. blue. Mm -hmm. I wrote that for those men who fell before me mm -hmm. to pay tribute to them for mm -hmm. their ultimate sacrifice. Now you said the uh, Battle of Nashville was a horrific event. Uh, yes, sir. Why was that battle important to uh, your troops? It gave us dignity. It gave us honor to fight for ourselves mm -hmm. and for our people. Mm -hmm. A lot of us didn't have the same freedoms that I shared, mm -hmm. but were we really free? We really weren't mm -hmm. because I had the same restrictions as a free black man in Nashville mm -hmm. as those who were already in mm -hmm. slavery. Mm -hmm. So it was a selected freedom, if you will. Mm -hmm. But I could not stand and watch my people, my brothers, my sisters mm -hmm. fight and suffer without me joining in mm -hmm. to help. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, you played a significant role in terms of uh, winning the war. It, it, would you say that, that, that you added uh, a, a, an additional dimension to, that, to, to, to the war that it, it eventually brought the uh, Union victory? Would that be uh, uh, successful? I mean, would that be uh, a right conclusion in reference to uh, your participation in this yes, war? Yes, sir, it would. About 200,000 men of color put on the Union blue uniform to fight in America's Civil War. Mm -hmm. 20,133 from the great state of Tennessee mm -hmm. that I was one of them. Mm -hmm. So they paid the ultimate price to fight for our freedom. Mm -hmm. 
Some of my brothers lie in state now, 1909, at a place they call the Nashville Veterans Cemetery. Mm -hmm. I believe it's called Madison, Tennessee today. Mm -hmm. And you can go view their graves and see a memorial statue mm -hmm. by one of our brothers, mm -hmm. Mr. Bill Radcliffe, mm -hmm. that honors them and stands on guard for mm -hmm. their souls every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the uh, president of the United States commended you and your group for the work that you did. Is that yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That is so correct. Even General Lu Lu Luis, Ulysses S. Grant mm -hmm. even sent a cable to our general to say a job well done. Mm -hmm. Did they specifically say the U.S. colored troops? Mm -hmm. No, but they said the Union Army, mm -hmm. and we were a part of the Union mm -hmm. Army, so that included us as well. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so how, how, how did uh, most of the uh, men that uh, you dealt with, that, that you met during this, your experiences there, how did they feel in reference to the war? Did they feel the same way about uh, the war as you felt? So we walked a common road together. Uh, we wanted to walk together to freedom. If we weren't all free, mm -hmm. then we weren't all free, mm -hmm. meaning that if some of us were free and some of us were not, not then we, we all, all were not free. free. Only yeah. some of us were free. Mm -hmm. And we were going to lay our lives on the ground until we all were free. Mm -hmm. Those men that I serve and serve with now have that same dignity and honor. Mm -hmm. Some never fought in a battle before. Mm -hmm. Some had previous experience. Were we scared? Sure, we were scared at times. Mm -hmm. But we had an almighty God watching our back. Mm -hmm. And so it was a real spiritual kind of thing in, in reference to all this 300 years of slavery that, that uh, you had endured. Uh, it was now coming to a sort of a spiritual thing that it, it was either uh, freedom or uh, else. Was, was that the attitude that many of you took at this time? Sir, before we went in battle, we hummed this little tune that goes like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm -hmm. And then we all gave our testimony to thank the Lord for where he brought us to at that particular mm -hmm. time. It didn't matter what happened the next day. Mm -hmm. The Lord was watching out for us mm -hmm. and we knew we'd be all right. Well, how did, uh, uh, we've got about three minutes. How did uh, you and your group feel about the assassination of uh, President Abraham Lincoln? Like most of the nation, we were shocked. A lot of us called him Father Abraham mm -hmm. because he freed the slaves ultimately. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that had ever happened. And we wondered what was going to happen to us after that. Mm -hmm. Nobody else had fought for us before. Mm -hmm. Nobody else had freed us before mm -hmm. as a group of individuals, mm -hmm. as African Americans. So was there a concern? Sure there was. Mm -hmm. But we knew if we kept our faith in God as we prayed and our fathers and mothers before us, mm -hmm that one day we'd be ultimately free. See, that's a chain of praying. Somebody mm -hmm. prayed for us mm -hmm. to put on this blue uniform to fight for our freedom. Mm -hmm. People like Crispus Attucks, mm -hmm. the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. You had African-Americans in the Mexican-American War mm -hmm. and those who fought even before that, mm -hmm. who stood on the battlefield so that we could have a place to stand today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was our duty mm -hmm. to stand up. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, the last minute there, two minutes that we have here, what would you say to uh, young people today, as you probably said during your period, what would you say to young people today in terms of their commitment and uh, their ability to be able to uh, change things? I would tell young people today to be proud of who they are. Mm -hmm. I would tell them to respect their elders, listen to experience, mm -hmm. get a great education, mm -hmm help somebody. Mm -hmm. The only time that you should look down upon somebody is when you helping them up. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. um, that they should stay focused, that the battle is not won. Mm -hmm. The battle is not over until Almighty God calls you home. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would tell young people mm -hmm. today. And of course, let me uh, over the last minute thank you and others who we've had an opportunity to deal with on this show.
concern in this commemoration event and to uh, tell you how very, very proud we are to be able to uh, talk to you and uh, to others within the context of having been there. You've been there uh, in terms of the war, uh, even though you gave us uh, some information in reference to your profile indicating that you're a young man who attended Tennessee State University, but in a real sense, uh, spiritually, you are there because uh, it, it, I, I, I can hear it in your voice. I hear it in your song. I hear it in your poem. I hear it in all of those statements that uh, you, like all of the other reenactors, evidently have simply internalized uh, these individuals. And uh, we're just glad to be able to present you and others uh, to uh, the uh, United States of America during this commemoration of this great event that eventually uh, gave you freedom, gave you the citizenship that you so desired, and eventually gave you the right to vote. And let me uh, thank you for coming by and giving us that information. Let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.